Dick D. Bartolo, Man's Medicine writer in the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Tech Day, a new place for us, and we're talking with Ryan, and Ryan's going to tell us about Fusa. Fusa? Fusa. Fusa. I don't know why I have so much trouble with that. All right, so you have a GoPro on your helmet. Well, that'll take video, but this goes a lot further, and Ryan, what further does it go? So for us, action sports are heavily rooted in the sense that they're enjoyable. I don't throw my leg over a motorcycle because I want to stay safe. I'm doing it because it gets my heart racing. And that, that's really one of the two core beliefs we have. And, and, you know, action sports being fundamentally focused on safety and enjoyment. We want you to get home at the end of the day and go back to your family. So when we take it beyond just photo and video, we're building in such features as crash detection, full black box functionality, an emergency alert system. There's onboard sensors that allow us to understand what your metrics are, your performance. So, so this is like the personal black box? Absolutely. I, you know, and the first thing they do when a plane goes down is look for the black box. Now, however, when I was in a motorcycle accident a couple years ago and I had little recollection of actually what happened leading up to the event, something like this didn't exist. So I, I scoured the internet. I, I really was looking for a product that would make me feel more comfortable getting back out on the road. And so your accident actually made, did you invent this? I'm the founder of the company. Uh, I actually built our first few generations of a smart motorcycle helmet, which was the first embodiment of this technology. Ultimately, we were looking at different strategies for going to market and realized that a more universal system was going to enable us to target a, a market size roughly 12 to 15x larger. Okay, and, and now this mounts on any helmet? Any helmet, uh, our smart helmet camera can mount on the top or side of your helmet. The lens housing will actually rotate, so you, know, you don't have to worry about orientation issues. Um, in fact, we've had people who use them on the front bumper of their, uh, sorry, front fender of their motorcycle. I met a pilot today who wants to put one on the wing of his plane. He does, uh, you know, aerobatics uh, in, in a, you know, World War II era plane, which I found to be a very interesting yeah. use case. And, and then Ryan, also, this can be used as if it, when, when you're not out crashing, you can be out shooting recreational video with it also. Absolutely. I mean, hey, GoPro really popularized the action camera space. Um, you know, they make cameras, they make fantastic cameras, but that's really, at the end of the day, it's all it is. It takes photos and it takes videos. I want to do that, that's fine. This is actually a device that's cloud enabled. I sync that to the Fuser app, and as I create content, I can actually have that. So, so is it Wi-Fi enabled to, and to, and Bluetooth, okay, to your phone. So you can live stream the video to a phone. So right now, we're not doing live streaming. What we're doing is live video blasts. So we have a feature called the Hotshot feature. If something really interesting happens, and you were not recording, if you had a GoPro, that moment is lost forever. With our system, you press two buttons on your handlebar or wrist-mounted remote, right underneath, ergonomically designed for your, for your clutch side. Press these yeah, just buttons. hold that up for the camera there. Yeah, right. Absolutely. So these two buttons will tell the system to retroactively grab the last 15 seconds of footage, saves it on the device's SD card, pushes that video to your cell phone, it embeds it in its native photo roll, and will also push it up to our mobile app right into your social feed. So by the time you get to the bottom of the mountain or by the time you get to your home, your friends have already seen that content. Maybe it went viral, and all you had to do was press a button. Oh, great. And this available now, or coming, or? Absolutely, we launched this on Indiegogo in November. Uh, we're still up on the Indiegogo in-demand store right now with pre-sale pricing. Um, we are and that pre-sale pricing is? So it's actually been fairly staggered. Full retail price for the entire system is 549. However, our first lowest product is our Bluetooth headset that retails for $79.99. All of these are available at lower price points depending on how you bundle them. Right now, if you wanted to buy the entire kit, I believe it's available for $150 off, currently. Currently, okay, and that website is? Uh, Indiegogo.com, and you search uh, Fuser, uh, F-U-S-A-R, it'll be the first and only thing that comes up. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, I, I think uh, we're done. So, Wonderful. Ryan, thank you very much. Very nice to meet you, Dick. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Mattis, Dry to end the Gizwiz one take theater. If this place gets any more crowded, I'm going to borrow one of these helmets. We're going to have to fight our way through. Bye.